What is going on everybody, my name is General Mittens and welcome back to another episode on my Assassin's Creed Unity News, Rumors and Discussions video series. Now in this episode I will be talking about the customization features that will be in the main game. Now I had a little bit of information from way back that sort of hinted at what was just sort of revealed uh, quite recently. So I'll talk about the, the newest information first and then I'll go back and talk about some of the old information that sort of hinted at this. So recently we just got this mini game for Assassin's Creed Unity where you create your own assassin and you submit it uh, to basically win prizes. So people will vote for it, that kind of thing. You'll see uh, some screenshots here. Unfortunately I can't capture uh, actual video footage of how it works and stuff and how you can create your own assassin. But basically you have a set amount of upper body parts, uh, lower body parts, as well as your hood. And then you've got your weapons and your sash and that kind of thing. You've also got a set amount of colours for that uh, particular body part and particular piece of clothing. So sometimes you'll have a mix between two colours, sometimes it will just be a flat colour. And then you can also choose to have a pattern or no patterns. Now the weapons are sort of, it's either you get like a mace and a pistol or a, a sword and a pistol, that kind of thing. And it changes what the sash looks like and you can also change the colour on that as well. Now something very, very interesting that's been included in this mini game is the ability to change your skin tone. Now there is only four colors but it goes basically from white to a little bit more tan to quite Middle Eastern looking uh, sort of tannish skin color all the way down to a very very sort of dark not not necessarily black color but sort of very brownish. So that's actually quite interesting because it adds a little bit of a you know an RPG element to the to the game because you can actually if you know, if they don't actually show Arno's parents in the story, you can actually sort of make your own backstory for him. So, say he was born to a uh, like a black father and a white mother, or um, you know that kind of thing. So, it it is quite interesting in that regard. So, it adds that little extra bit of customization. So, people don't you know for for the people who don't want to play as another white dude, they can actually change their skin tone. Now, I don't know if they actually just added this because of the backlash from E3, or if this was a planned thing altogether. But either way, I'm completely fine with it. I, I love the idea of it. It uh, allows more sort of uh, approachability to certain uh, people out there who want to play the game, but they don't want to play as a white dude. So it, it really adds that sort of extra customization. Now, this entire game is only really... I expect it to only be a, a little pinch of what is actually in the main game because we only get a set amount of different pants and different upper body parts and different hoods. And I'm fairly certain there's going to be a lot more in the game because if there wasn't, I'd be kind of disappointed because I'm I'm not really some of them in there look you know good and I can see why people like them but I don't really appeal to them that much. They still look kind of weird. Um, you know, there's only two. I think there's only about two that I really like um, for upper body parts, and then the pants are just you know I, I like one of them, but they don't come in the colours that I want that kind of thing. And that's another thing is I do expect them to be. Uh, compatible with all colors so you have a, a broad range of colors uh, as well as you know mixtures of colors and you can place them on uh, basically any piece of clothing that you like I also expect there to be a lot more patterns so instead of just having one pattern with just a bunch of lines everywhere maybe we have diagonal lines or checkered patterns that kind of thing so I do expect it to be a much more fleshed out customization system in the main game now of course we can expect to see a lot of customization with weapon choices so you know you can have once you can have like a, a french cutlass or you can have a, a huge big broadsword you know that kind of thing now i don't know if you're actually going to be able to have more than one sword or you know more than one uh small knife or dagger or that kind of thing that'll be quite interesting if we could have that level of customization so we could be like edward from black flag or we could be like uh, Altair from Assassin's Creed 1 with a minimal amount of weapons. That will be a very good uh, you know, addition to the series because I know a lot of people want that minimalization of weapons so that we truly do blend in instead of having you know crossbows hanging off our back and having knives everywhere. So I do think that'll be quite a good addition to the series. I personally would walk around with uh, sort of like a medium amount of weapons. I, I generally don't use heavy weapons so uh, I'll, I'll be using probably just one sword and a lot of daggers. I'm, I'm full into daggers, so I'll be up that shit. But um, it'll be yeah. I, I do think that it would it would work well uh, for the series. Now there is also a skill tree, and I don't know if we actually have a picture of that. I've seen a picture, but it looks 
very, very much like Watch Dogs, uh, that skill tree. But um, I don't know if that's just a placeholder for the game or if that's actually what it's going to look like. But basically, you can upgrade your stealth, combat, and navigation. I have talked about this in a previous video. But that's just the next level of customization that we get with Assassin's Creed Unity. You can you know, upgrade how good they are at sneaking about or how good they are at absolutely mauling the faces of guards. So that's quite a bog-standard basic feature that uh, I don't think has been in previous Assassin's Creed games. But I think it does work well in terms of how customizable the game is. Now that's about all we have for customization uh, as of now. You know, I don't know if we can actually customize the shirt, like the undershirt and then the overcoat um, and then, you know, the, the hood and the, the pants and then the shoes. I don't know if we can actually do that. But uh, still, it, it's quite a good addition to the series because we've never actually gotten that before. We've always gotten either separate preset uh, costumes or we've gotten... Uh, just, you know, the ability to dye your clothes. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with how it's looking so far. Um, I, I, I said before, I am expecting it to be a lot more fleshed out in the main game, but still, it gives us a good idea of what we can expect. Now, going back a few weeks, um, th this actually comes from the Assassin's Creed Unity Unite program website, which is basically like you pre-order the game with a bunch of mates and you join up and you win prizes, that kind of thing, so you can win a, a bunch of in-game items bunch of missions, a soundtrack, and a comic book, that kind of thing, but what really stands out is the guard pack, and that's called the National Guard's Trousers Improves Your Stealth. The Razorhead Spear pierces all armor, because that's like a, another weapon that you get with it, but that was way before this actual uh, little mini game came out, and it showed that you can actually swap over um, your pants. So that was quite a big update, and no one really picked up on that. I haven't seen any videos uh, that have actually outlined this right here because this came out way back when Assassin's Creed Unity first, you know, was first um, uh, released for pre-order, and th this gives us a lot of information because we could, we, we found out that we could uh, just swap over our pants instead of having to swap over the entire costume. What's also even more interesting is the fact that it says it improves your stealth. So these different types of clothing come with their own perks and work depend, you know, they they work differently depending on your playstyle. So that means you could. You know, you could be wearing a bunch of clothes that you'd like, but you also wear them because it gives you a, a, a perk in your preferred playstyle. So if you like to be stealthy, you wear really, really silent clothes. Uh, you, you only take a bunch of daggers so that your detection rating goes down or something like that. You know, something like Payday 2, where if you if you, if you you storm into a bank with full body armor and you've got guns hanging off of you, people are going to detect you straight up. But if you walk in with, you know, a, like a pistol and no body armor, then, you know, that they're not going to detect you as much. So, if, if that could play into the whole, uh, you know, stealth rating, so you, if you take smaller weapons, it's harder for them to detect you, or, you know, harder for them to pick you out as an assassin, then that could really work well in terms of, uh, you know, how, you know, how weapons, you know, the, the more of them you have, the more chance you have of being really good at combat, but it also reduces your stealth rating. So, this could be a very big part. So, you, you will have to customize your assassin depending on what mission you're going on. I personally think that's a really good idea. Um, I, I probably will have a few sets of clothing that I'll wear, you know, if this does turn out to be true, so, you know, you wear a certain amount of clothing to be good at combat or to be good at stealth, that kind of thing. And I do think that it will uh, definitely add to the whole game. Now, one thing that we haven't heard about is armor. I'm fairly certain they're going to add armor into the game because that's something we've been wanting ever since Assassin's Creed 3. I know a lot of people liked the idea of not having armor because it took away from the whole essence of blending in. You know, you can't blend into a group of civilians when you're wearing these huge metal spolders and this, you know, this huge chest guard, that kind of thing. But then again, it could play into the whole thing of which playstyle do you want? If you want to be full combat, run in there, just, you know, slash through everyone, then yeah, you're going to bulk up with armor, right? So you're going to chuck on all that armor. But if you want to go stealth, then you're going to wear nothing, you know? So you really, and if you want to be, you know, maybe good at navigation, if you want to be faster at climbing, you're going to wear nothing to reduce your weight. So if, if, if this does seem to be true, so I do think they're going to add armor. And I, if they do add a sort of, you know, a perk system to the armor, I think that's the way they're going to go is that, uh, you know, the, the more armor you wear, the more uh, louder you are when you're running, the more easy you are to detect but the more health you're going to have. So you can suffer those huge blows from axes and stuff because you're wearing these huge metal spolders. 
Whereas if you want to be stealth, then you're going to wear really, really, uh, you know, silent clothing. You're not going to wear as much armor, and that's going to help you sneak around and not get detected because you're not going to be as loud. I don't know if they're going to add the whole thing about wearing less armor to be faster at climbing because that's sort of, in my head, it seems a little bit advanced for the whole perk system. I don't know if they're actually going to add that, but still, it would be a nice addition if they do add armor to add a perk system to it. Now that's about all the information we have as of now in terms of customization. If new information does come out, I will update this video. I will release a, a completely new video uh, outlining the new updates that have come out. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you don't want to miss out on any one of these episodes, definitely hit the subscribe button because I will be uploading weekly. Next episode will be on the main protagonist of the game. Now that video is mainly going to be a rumors video because we don't actually fully know which one is which. Uh, I sort of have my guns on one single rumor, but then again, it's still just a rumor. So we don't really know, but I will be discussing it in detail. So if you don't want to miss that video, definitely hit the subscribe button. But thank you very much for watching this video. Once again, my name is General Mittens, and I'll see you in the next episode.